Welcome back guys, next installment of the Lithuanian campaign. Apologies for the delay between videos, we've been in the process of uh, moving house, so still in the same location, but we've just had to keep the uh, keep the room clean. Uh, we've got a bit of a gap between visitors, so we're going to do the next battle in the series, it's the Battle of Vilkaviskus, and uh, and yeah, hopefully you, uh, hopefully you enjoy the match. As you can see, I've got the terrain set up and all buildings painted. So the objective is going to be to capture as many buildings as possible. The side that controls the most buildings by the end of the match will win the game. At the moment all buildings have a green German marker, so let's assume that the Germans already have the buildings, but as the Russians capture them we'll put red dice on them. So we've got 18 objectives in total and we've got uh, and the side with the most objectives by the end of the match will win the game. So we'll see whether or not the Russians can continue their counter-offensive or if the Germans will be able to hold them off and push north once more. Alright, we'll see you on turn one guys. So that's then to turn one. We've brought on, well the Germans have brought on an armored car on the far right side supported by some pioneers. Some here infantry have moved into the building on the far right side. A... what's that? Another here units also moved up on that side. Have the, uh, let's see, the Panzer Shrek hiding in that building there. Another here squad in the green building. And a Panzer IV Armored Personnel Carrier and another here squad have moved up on the far flank so they're moving towards the centre at the moment the German have nine Germans have nine buildings so they're sort of moving up the Russian side, the Russians have nine buildings as well so they've moved up with uh, SMG squad on that side in the centre we've got some Russians um, Siberian troops, which are tough fighters, hiding in the city. They secured two of the points in there. There's also a lieutenant. Down the center, it's a bit of a bit of a conga line forming, moving towards the central factory, supported by a tank and an LMG squad. Combat engineers have moved up on this flank from their truck, and they're also supported by some red guards. So that's the end of turn one. Um, nine buildings each, so it's currently tied. Um, no casualties yet, um, but we'll see how we go. And yeah, let's do a bit of a check around the map. Quite happy with how the buildings have turned out so far. Spent a lot of time painting them up, so um, so yeah, you guys can see the uh, the end result. Yep, that's end of turn one. It takes into turn two. Okay, so it's the end of turn two. The Russians uh, started with some early aggressive moves, moving up some troops up the flank and also the tank from the center of the map up into the middle. The Germans had initially moved an armored car, which is currently hiding behind the building, up to there to shoot at these units. The tank has moved out, tried to take a shot at the armored car, armored car used the recce rule to pull back behind the building. Um, tanks then shot at the German pioneers that are in the open. Let's put a pin on them. Um, they're also down, so they can't move. Um, the squad over there has moved up to assist. So at the moment, that flank is very much up in the air for both sides. With um, I think the Russians having a bit of an advantage because they have their tank in the center. Moving further across, Russian infantry pushed up the road to uh, maintain control over the power plant. More Russian infantry have moved up from the ruins, up behind the, uh, the truck. However, uh, in the process of doing so, they've been intercepted by the German pioneers, have moved out and have uh, flamed one group and have put four pins on it after the flame. SMG squad has moved up as well. So they're hiding behind the building at the moment, um, but the center is still very much up for grabs. 
you can see here the uh, the German tanks moved up. German infantry in the greenhouse have moved up to the second floor, so they can overlook the whole courtyard now. So it's quite a dangerous spot. And German officer has moved out around the back of the building, sort of freeing that up so he can, um, if I need to move troops into one of those buildings, I can. Um, overall, I think the dice pretty much should remain the same. They're all, so it's about nine points each at the moment. Everything that's being contested has been. And yeah, it'll take us into turn three, so it should be an action-packed turn. We'll see uh, who will win. All right, it takes us into turn three. Cheers, guys. Okay, so it's the uh, end of turn three. So the Russians have moved up. They've eliminated the German pioneers after shooting up with the tank and also with their own pioneers. In the process, their pioneers have run out of flame of fuel, so that's good. And well, I have lost a unit. I've also been able to secure that building. I've retreated my here squad back into that building and the officer has moved out. The uh, armored car has done a bit of a run. It's now in the center. And German tank has moved up, uh, but not too far. That's a sort of keeping an eye on the road so the Russian tank can't move too far forward. Um, in the center, Pioneers have moved up. They flamed and shot that unit. They also shot up that unit, but they ran out of flame of fuel. Um, they then got assaulted by that unit. They lost a man, and that unit's retreated back. Um, they also got shot up by the LMG team, so the Pioneers are dead. Um, so I've lost both of my Pioneer units now, which is not good. Um, in the center, they've recapped the objective in there, you can see the, uh, the jeeps also moved in. And, um, and yeah, it's been a pretty tough time for the Germans all around so far. Um, although, they are sort of getting a little bit of a better position now on the map, because they don't have so much pinned in that corner, but it'd be a tough fight. Um, so that's the end of turn three. Take us into turn four. The Russians currently have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. So if the game ended this turn, they would have won. But it's only uh, turn, well, it's turn four now, so there's still three more turns for the Germans to see if they can change it around. All right, I'll take us to the next turn. Cheers, guys. Okay, so it's into turn four. The Russians have pushed up. I've wiped out my officer squad that's hiding behind the building. Um, still have the here in the building, which weren't able to pass their order tests, so they weren't able to shoot at that squad. Um, tank has moved up in support as well. Um, have the unit of Russian militia hiding behind the buildings, so they're sort of moving up to back up the tank. Got the uh, red guards in that building, so they've got that. And that's sort of the, the Russian left-hand flank. This takes us into the center. A uh, couple of firefights have been going on. So the here squad has fired at the squad in power plant, taken down two troops and put a pin on them. Russian lieutenants moved behind the building to try and shore it up. Um, Russian... Uh, Russian... Siberian... Troops moved up the center. They've taken some shots at the here that are in the ruins. And let's see. And there's also this other Russian squad that's currently moving around the back of this building to try and uh, contest it. The Germans have failed a lot of their order rolls this turn, which was quite frustrating. The squad only had one pin on it and it failed its test. Um, the squad here had a pin on it, and it failed its test, so it couldn't move. Um, here, I should have already mentioned that. Tanks fired at them. Panzer Shrek's taken a shot at the Russian tank and missed. Um, that's basically been the turn. 
A bit of a frustrating turn for Germany, lots of failed order tests, um, which is a bit of a pain. But we'll see how we go, we've still got another two turns to try and take the objectives that we need, so it's still kind of close. The Russians have got a bit of an edge, they're currently sitting on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points capped. So they're in pretty pretty healthy position points wise. Um, maybe that'll change a bit if I can get a bit of luck over the next few turns. We'll see how we go. All right, we'll take us to the next next turn. Alrighty, cheers guys. Okay, so it's into turn five. Uh, the Russian engineers have run into that building, taken up a cover position in there. The Russian tank is fired at the here squad in that building. Hasn't done any damage. Um, but has moved out of firing range. The militia have taken shots from the Panzer IV and have had to go down. Um, suffered three casualties. People's militia are still in the blue building. This takes us through into the center. The LMG squad have suffered a panic test as a result of a FUBAR roll. They've fled from the building into the ruin also been able to wipe out the um, Siberian squad that was there and have advanced. So I'll recap that point. Um, Russian militia moving around the back of the building, sort of eyeing their choices there. So we'll see if they can cap anything on that side. Um, and the Russian officer is still hiding behind the building, contesting that. Um, so at the moment, the Russians still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven buildings in their possession at the moment. So the Germans might be able to swing this, but we'll be pretty close. And just so you can have a quick pan over the battlefield. Also, I've moved up the uh, armored car from there to there, so hopefully it can contest some of the points in the middle this turn, um, if we're lucky. And you can see all the rest of the map there. Alright, so it takes into the final turn, we'll see how we go. Alright. Alright, so it's the end of turn 6. The uh, Russians have um, destroyed. The engineers have attacked the building with the Panzerschreck in it and have wiped out the Panzerschreck and have capped that building. Um, the tank has moved up and has blown up my tank. Um, the truck, which was behind there, has picked up the infantry squad, moved it into them to contest it. Um, I have pushed up with my armored car. I tried to blow up the truck, but I rolled, I hit twice, but then I rolled two twos, so it didn't blow up. Um, German infantry have, again, shot, then assaulted, then leapfrogged, so they now control that building. Um, and the Russian infantry have snuck around the back and have, um, have gone around the side, so they still can't really control anything. But at this point, the Russians have 11 points and I'm not going to be able to cap back the remainder. So that was the battle for Vilkaviskus. And with that, we're going to call an end to the, the Lithuanian campaign. I don't think the Germans will get anywhere near any of their objectives. So, um, so yeah, it was, um, it was a fun campaign. Um, we will be doing more. Um, it will be nice to do a campaign with some other armies. Um, be able to do something other than use Germans and Russians. I think we've got some Japanese painted up, so maybe Japanese and British, or be something different. So it's the final battle in the Lithuanian campaign, so the Battle of Vilkaviskus. The Russians have pushed the Germans out after an initial German um, surge. And that's the end of the match. Thanks for watching, guys. We will try and put more videos up on the channel, but it is a bit of a challenge because we're in the process of, well, potentially moving out of this house and then going somewhere else. So 
might be a bit of a gap between videos. I was hoping to get more done um, over the over the last few weekends, over the last few months, but it's just not been possible because, as you can see, it involves a lot of mess. And when you're trying to sell a house, it's a bit tricky. But we are still here. Um, please do keep watching. We do have all the videos that are up on the channel um, already. And we'll also be doing some things on the Crusades and the Napoleonic period soon, so keep an eye out for them. GG to the Russians. Uh, it was well fought. A uh, very tough battle. They're aggressive through the whole match. Um, and I think that's worked out pretty well for them. And, um, and yeah, GG. Thanks for watching, guys.